it's really an exciting time in psychosomatic medicine um, as we understand more and more about how the brain and the autonomic nervous system and our other physiologic systems are in a kind of balance and a kind of dance that either promotes us being healthy or pushes us toward being more vulnerable to a number of illnesses. Yeah, we know that um, depression is often either brought on or made worse when people have severely stressful experiences and certainly getting cancer, being treated for cancer is severely stressful. And so it's not surprising that people get more depressed and because the stress is ongoing as they go through surgery and they go through chemo, um, those changes in their lives kind of ripple out to changes in work and changes in family. When Dr. Hammond came to the U of A, I knew she was involved in psycho-oncology and she had discovered this um, funding mechanism and invited me to consider working with her on a project. Dr. Weiss is an expert in the collaborative uh, care model for depression management. And so we had an opportunity through the Merck Foundation um, to receive funding to really try to address uh, depression and depression care specifically for people who are diagnosed with cancer um, and are seen at the University of Arizona Cancer Center. We had about 65% of the people who enrolled in the study had a response, meaning that their depressive symptoms were reduced by 50%. And um, that is consistent with what had been found in other studies. That was very encouraging, that we could take a program that had been developed outside of a cancer setting and move it into a cancer setting and also modify it for a underserved population and get the same outcomes of about 65% uh, having resolution of their depression. We found that the depression care management team uh, really was effective in terms of reducing depression and reducing um, very serious depression too. And so we want to make sure that we're able to keep offering through clinical service management and psychosocial care for individuals who are diagnosed with cancer. Because we know that when people can reduce their depressive symptoms, they be can become more active members of their treatment team, uh, have better interactions with their family and their care providers, and, and actually it helps their cancer prognosis as well. We know that the people who didn't get the COPE-D intervention, who just got regular care, only had about a 30% um, response to treatment. So that difference between 30 and 65 is a big difference. It was such a success that we were able to encourage our cancer center leadership to continue the program. And um, our cancer patients have access to the COPE-D program now with a permanent full-time COPE-D counselor.